All right, I've, I've showed you so far, and in, in the previous videos, I've showed you an app where you can post things. Um, it's shared with other users, and even the posts are now timestamped because we added a bunch of code to to add a timestamp to each post that the user user enters. What I'm going to show you now is how to kind of put detailed code into a function, you know, and then it's a function you could use um, for other things if you wanted. Anytime you need to get the a timestamp, you could you could call it. Plus, plus it just kind of makes the code a little cleaner to kind of separate your concerns. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that. The other thing we're gonna work on is right now this is not exactly right. We we always put PM no matter what and we're doing military time. So we'll, we'll fix that so it's not using military time and, and it gets the PMAM correctly, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and what I wanna do is add a new function. And I'm gonna grab, in this case, this to do something block and it's gotta return. And what this function's goal is, it's gonna return um, the timestamp for the current time, right? So I'm going to grab this guy and I'm just going to call this function get timestamp. Okay. And what I really need to do is kind of grab all this stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab, grab all this stuff and, and bring it over here. Okay. And, um, but really on my insertion, I need to go, you know, replace that with just the, the join again. So I'm gonna grab the join and I'm gonna join whatever the user enters. And you know, now that I've created this function, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it, but now that I've created the function, there's this little block that calls it. And basically what what I use it, I've created a new block, right? That's what a function lets you do. And I can then use this block anywhere I need it. So I'm just gonna stick this in and so now kind of conceptually our posts are whatever the user enters plus the the timestamp all right um, we just need to do a little work over here um, to to get this right but first of all let's just kind of um, let's just make it so let's just make it so it works as it did i'm going to go back and click on that guy. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this first item. And it's a little hard, I gotta take those out and then bring the other ones in. Um, and cool, that's kind of what I wanted to do. So right now, when I call get timestamp, it's gonna call this function and it's gonna return all this stuff. All right, and if I go over to my tablet and uh, and enter something, I don't know, ice cream. Man. Okay, and I post it. And there it is. So um, it's still doing exactly what we were doing before. Okay, and you know, but we've made our code a little bit cleaner by using this function. Okay, and just real briefly, functions can either just do some stuff or they can do some stuff and, and also return a value. All right, I just wanna do, uh, add a little more detail. And like I said, I, what I wanna do is, is handle this PM correctly and get rid of the military time. All right, so essentially, um, we'll just keep it simple, but if, if the hour is larger than um, 12, then we're gonna to wanna to subtract 12 from it, okay? so. What I'm gonna do is just create a new variable, just a regular app variable, and I'm gonna call it hour, and I'm just gonna set it to zero. It doesn't matter what I set, set it to, to start. But inside this code, I'm gonna change hour, and I'm gonna use an if statement. So I'm gonna grab an if statement. <coughs> um, and what I'm gonna ask is if hour is greater than 12, and so first let me grab a logic block, And what I'm gonna ask is if a reference to hour, so if the variable hour is greater than 12, so if it's 13 through 24, essentially what I wanna do is 
subtract 12 from it. So if I get 13, I'm going to change it to one and, and so on. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set our, and I used to have to use this triangle to choose the right variable. And I'm going to set our to itself minus 12. Okay. So I'm going to grab a minus block. So I want to set the hour to what I have, what, what it's set to originally. And then what I want to do is subtract 12 from it. Okay. So um, anyway, what I need to start hour at, sorry, I need to add one more block here is I need to set the hour to um, this current hour here. So whatever the current hour is, I'm going to put that into my variable hour, and then I'm going to mess with that variable to get it how I, how I want. Okay. I think I'm doing okay. And then, you know, I don't want to put what I don't want to get put what Thunkable gives me here because this is military time. What I want to put is a reference to this new variable I created called hour. Okay, so I'm just doing some detailed work. I can put it all within this function instead of dirtying this code to submit something. You know, and it's all called get timestamp. Okay, one more detail. If if the hour is greater than 12, then I want to say PM. And if it's less than 12, I want to say AM, right? So I'm just going to add another variable. And I'm going to call that variable AM PM. And I'm going to initialize it to AM. Okay. And I'll actually put a space in front of it. Okay. Just so we can, it'll have a space in, in between there. And then every time this happens, I'm also going to re initialize it to and make sure to change the variable. So I want A and PM to start off as am okay by so kind of by default it'll be set to am and then i'm going to see if the hour is greater than 12 if it is then i want to set my am pm variable to pm okay and then of course now instead of having this fixed pm down here whatever this variable am pm ends up being that's what I want to put down here. So I'm going to get rid of that guy and just copy um, AM PM. So the variable AM PM is a reference to it here. Okay, so basically all this code is just trying to change from military to regular time and then set AM PM correctly. Okay, and it's all in a function and I just call it over here. And let's let's go ahead and test. I test everything so um let's see uh let's see bowling balls for sale i'm not sure if that's exactly a essential um thing for our site here our covid 19 site but let's just say that user types in bowling balls for sale they touch post it and let's see that's looking pretty good so it's got the date as as usual, and it's got 4:55 p.m. Okay, I would I would really need to test it in the morning to to make sure it works for for a.m. But it seems to be be pretty good. The only thing you know, I I do need to add a space right in front of the p.m. And that way, down here after the minute, we'll have a space between between those. Okay, so just kind of review that you know the context of this whole thing is. We had our code working and now we've refactored it. So we didn't change really how it worked. We did a little bit, you know, we added some detail. But the other thing we did was we kind of moved some detailed code into a function. Okay. And then that function did all the details and returned us, you know, what we need to get for the timestamp. And in this way, we can kind of you know, make it so we don't have an event handler with like a, you know, 20 or 30 blocks and it gets too unwieldy. And, and, and so now we got it that, you know, in a, in a separate function. 